Hi ladies, I'm Chrissy, your fabulously crazy jewelry girl, and I am so excited that you are joining us tonight for our Jewelry and Jammies Facebook party. Uh, I'm going to be sharing some tips, some fashion tips, as well as some amazing jewelry uh, ideas and magic tricks. So first thing I want to talk about are scarves, because I know all you ladies love scarves. They are all the rage right now. So accessorizing, of course, we know we're not going to wear a necklace, but what you do want to do is pick out a magnificent pair of statement earrings. So I'm coordinating my golds and greens and taupes with this gorgeous scarf. So all you need when you're sporting that beautiful scarf are some rockin' earrings and, of course, your bracelets. Now, girls, this is the year of the bracelets. So, what you see me wearing tonight, I am actually stacking our bangle bracelets. Bangle bracelets and stacking bracelets is hot right now. So, couple tips for you. You know, if you want to wear one or two bracelets, that's totally fabulous. But if you're like me and you love to just totally jingle everywhere, then what you're going to do is, first off, if you have colored bracelets, first thing you want to do, uh, like I did, is you want your color in the middle, and then you're going to have two similar bracelets on the other sides. I kind of uh, came up with the idea that these two bracelets are smooching. So you want your two smoochy bracelets on each side of your statement bracelet. Now, when you are stacking bracelets, you want to stack in odd numbers. I don't know why, but no one's going to rush you, but odd numbers. So you're going to stack three, five, seven, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now. If you're not a scarf girl, like I'm not, and you're an everyday uh, girl wearing a scoop neck, I'm going to show you my favorite necklace and tons of different ways to wear it. This is our panorama necklace. It comes in silver, hematite, gold, and also silver with some gorgeous blue specks as well. This is our number one selling piece. I sell one of these at every single party. This is the necklace to have for vacation. If you don't own an, a long necklace, this is the one to get. Because number one, uh, there's about 10 different ways to wear it. But number two, just wearing a long necklace is going to elongate your body, make you look 10 pounds thinner, and a couple inches taller. It really does. So, you can wear this long, then of course, as most of you know, you can double this, and especially when you have a scoop neck on, it looks absolutely fabulous. Then, if you have a problem like me, this often happens to me, I'm a teacher, I'm up at the board, and my necklace is caught on one of my girls, and you know everyone's staring. So, if you have that problem, but you still want to look thinner, what you're going to do is you're actually going to take this necklace and you can pretend it's two shoelaces. You're going to open them up. These are two shoelaces. I like to call it crisscross applesauce, no bunny ears. So you're gonna take these, you're gonna crisscross them. It's just the first step of tying your shoe, that's it. Crisscross applesauce, just don't make your bunny ears. Then you're gonna tug down till you get to a spot where you want it to stay together. Then you're gonna take this and you're gonna hook it behind you those little circles are actually going to keep it in place and then it's not going to get caught in either of your gorgeous girls. Then, if you like to wear v-necks and you're pretty, you know, handy with a scarf, then you can actually take this necklace and you're going to put it on like you would a scarf. So we're going to hook it back together and take where the clasp is in the middle you're going to take one side a little bit longer than the other. It's going to fit right through there. And when you have a v-neck on, we'll pretend, okay, this is going to visually look fantastic. You always want to be wearing your jewelry to complement the form of the shirt that you have on. So when you have a v-neck on, 
you want something in that same shape, like a pendant or this necklace in Laureate style. Then, one of my other best-selling necklaces is our improv necklace. And I, this is actually a long necklace, okay? And all I did was convert it to a short necklace that looks absolutely amazing when you have a crew neck. This is the necklace that goes with everything in your wardrobe. Now, one of the main problems that a lot of girls have is they tend to get kind of matchy-matchy. Even I do from time to time. So, when you're getting dressed in the morning or when you're planning your outfit like I do the night before, because... When I get up in the morning, I am running around like a crazy woman trying to help my children and I, you know, press news a million times. So, of course, you want to figure that out the night before. So, we tend to, when we pick out our mint colored shirt, we tend to pick, of course, mint colored jewelry. And as you know, mint and emerald and all your greens, these are the colors for 2013. Now, it looks gorgeous. But if you really want your jewelry to pop, then you're going to go back to your color wheel on, from art class, okay? And you're going to go a color to the right or left, like your navy. And you're going to take your navy necklace, and that is going to really make a statement. Now, if you want to wear that mint necklace, then what you're going to do is you're actually going to take uh, for example, the opposite color. So you're going to have that color wheel and you are going to get your peach shirt and you're going to take your mint colored necklace and ladies, this is absolutely amazing. Now wearing this, you have actually made a huge statement. So I hope you enjoyed these tips tonight. Uh, not a lot of time for all my tips. So you know, if you're interested in hearing more, there will be more videos with more tips. So have a great night and enjoy the Facebook party.